Hello there. You know, Pippi Longstocking is a TV star and she owns a lot of strange things. For example, a lemonade tree or a horse that's standing on the veranda all the time or a monkey and of course a very strange house. Villa Villekula. Yeah, I think everybody who grew up with this famous Swedish TV show, Pippi Longstocking, also knows this famous building. It's the place where Pippi sleeps with her shoes on the pillow, runs around in the room like a monkey, annoys Miss Presadius or the policeman, and has all sorts of adventures with her friends Tommy and Annika. Villa Villekula, a wooden house painted pink and green and yellow, which has absolute cult status today. What many people don't know, there is actually a quite interesting story behind this famous building and if some decisions had been made differently in the past, this building would not exist today. Today it's time to tell you this exciting story, time to visit Villa Villekula. Yeah, to visit the famous Villa Villekula, we first have to go to a quite unusual place. More precisely, to an amusement park called Kneipbühn. And now you're probably asking yourself, uh, what? <laughs> amusement park? Uh, why is that? Wasn't the Villa Villekula standing in the green nature in the TV show? Yeah, you're right, that was the case back then, but not anymore. But why that is, I will tell you later. First, let's meet Esmeralda. She works at Kneipbühn and she kindly told me in German where we actually are and what you can do here. We have so a Freizeitpark here, that's called Sommer- and Wasserland. Uh, we have in the Sommerland have we so unterschiedliche Sachen, was du fahren kann oder unterschiedliche Spielplätze, wo die Kinder spielen kann. Und im Wasserland haben wir so welche Wasserrutschen und auch unterschiedliche Pools. Well, and the original house from Pippi Longstocking, which you can view in the park from the outside, but also from inside. And if you're traveling with children, for example, there is also a little theater program about the series here in the park. Wir haben auch äh, eine Pippi-Vorstellung, wo die Schauspieler von Gotlands Lernstheater hierher kommen und machen eine Aufführung über Pippi und so. Und das machen die jeden Tag, äh, den ganzen Sommer, von 14 Uhr und auch 15 Uhr. Und wenn man hier im Winter ist und man gerne den Villa Welle Kunta sehen will, dann kann man gerne uns e-mailen. Und dann können wir so welche Tours machen. Well, and also I got a little private tour in the Kneipbühn Park. And I would say, let's have a closer look at Villa Welle Kula. This is it. This is the famous house as we all know it from the show Pippi Longstocking. And this is how it looks like today. And the first thing that we can see, of course, is obviously the villa was renovated over the years. If you take a look at the scene from the show, the building almost looks a bit run down. The colors are not so shiny as they are today. If you take a look at the roof, it also has some dark stains and stuff like that. Today it's totally different. The park obviously does everything to preserve this old house. They renovated the house, they painted the house, the colors are beautiful and shiny. And also all of those small details are still here just like 54 years ago. If you take a look at the facade, for example, those little wood carvings at the roof, for example, or at the veranda, they are all still here today. This little roof above the veranda obviously is new. There's also some kind of a little ball missing, you see that? And there are also a few modern elements that didn't exist 54 years ago. For example, this lamp you see here at the roof. But the only thing that's really different, of course, is the surrounding of the villa. 
In the past, it used to stand in the middle of the nature. Today, it's not like that anymore. There is artificial grass right in front of the villa. The trees look totally different. And also the famous lemonade tree is gone. The house looks the same, but the surroundings are totally different. We can also see that in this scene right here, Tommy and Annika are coming to visit Pippi Longstocking. We cannot actually see this side of the house anymore because there are huge trees right in front of it. It definitely was not like that in the past. There was a huge garden right in front of the house where the kids used to play. In this scene we can see the policemen, Kling and Klang, they want to bring Pippi Longstocking to a children's home, which fails very badly. <laughs> in this scene we can see the right side of the house, which still looks the same. There's also the veranda we can see on the right side, it's also still here. However, it has a barrier-free access today, which wasn't like that in the past. There is a water pump right in front of the house, I don't see that in the scene from the show. And also in this scene we can see quite clearly the lemonade tree is gone. The policemen start to chase Pippi on the roof that was filmed from over here. Once again we can see the roof is slightly different today, but everything else, look at all those small and beautiful wood carvings, they are still here today. The only thing that has changed, obviously, are the surroundings of the villa. In the scene from the show we can see a lot of nature in the background. Today there are a lot of huts and stuff like that that belong to the amusement park. Let's take a closer look at the roof of Villa Villecula and once again we can see almost nothing has changed. Pretty well preserved, even this small sculpture-ish thing on the roof is still here today. Great. <laughs> The only thing that's missing today is this chimney thing you can see in the show. Yeah, that's gone today. And speaking of chimneys, also in this scene we can see there is something different. Take a look at those two chimneys on the roof. They looked a bit thicker in the past, am I right? And maybe that's because those little details, maybe also the pipe we just saw, don't actually belong to this house. Before they shot the show, they put some stuff on the roof, for example, of Villa Villa Kula, I think to make it a bit more exciting. And maybe, I'm not really sure, also those chimneys are not original chimneys, maybe they just put them here for the show. Okay, that's how Villa Villecula looks from the outside. Now let's take a closer look inside this famous house. However, if you're hoping that we will still find the original set from the show inside the house, I have to disappoint you. In fact, no filming ever took place in Villa Villecula itself. All interior shots that we know from the show Pippi Longstocking were taken in a studio, not in the house itself. The villa was only used for the exterior shots. What you can see here in the house, however, is a more or less true to the original replica of Pippi Longstocking's living room. We can see a few details here, such as Pippi Longstocking's bed, which was recreated. I can also remember this pipe, where Tommy used to hang on when they crawled through the villa like monkeys. Well, and Pippi Longstocking's horse, of course, is also standing in the hallway. There are a few other things to discover on the first floor of the building. For example, we meet Astrid Lindgren here, who invented Pippi Longstocking. You will find photos from the time when the series was filmed. And what is also up here is a ghost floor that kids definitely will love. Well, but even though we won't find the original set inside Villa Villa Kula, what is original, in fact, is this vehicle you can see in front of the house. This is the car that Kling and Klang, the two police officers, drove in the series. And you can now see it here in the Park Knäbühn, right next to Villa Villa Kula. And maybe you also know this motorcycle from the Pippi Longstocking show, which is also the original vehicle from the series. Okay, but now I think we've seen enough. Now let's finally take a look at the history of Villa Villecula. And let's find out why the heck is there now an amusement park around this building. All of that I ask Bobo Werkelin. He's the owner of the park Knäbühn and he first told me how Villa Villecula actually became the famous filming location for Pippi Longstocking. The Swedish television would like to 
did a filmatization of Astro Lindgren's books. They are, had found these houses. This was a, a military house. People was living in, inside this one. The Swedish uh, army said, you can take the house because we're gonna um, take this away. So you can do as you want. Bobo says the house was just as colorful back then as it is today, even though it was a serious military house. They just added a few elements for the show that actually didn't really belong here. For example, also the famous veranda. However, it was a quite long journey until the producers of the Pippi Longstocking films actually found the villa. The actresses for Pippi and Annika were quickly found, but what was a little more difficult was finding an actor for Tommy and they also needed a horse, a monkey and a house for Pippi Longstocking. The director Ole Hellboom even placed an advertisement in the newspaper Expressen with the headline Do you have a house for a Pippi Longstocking? He also described the requirements for the building and its appearance in detail. On a trip, Ole Helbum then passed by the island of Gotland and he discovered this colorful house. For 10,000 Swedish krones, the film crew was then allowed to use this building as an outdoor set. However, after the first PP episodes were aired on television, things got a bit complicated. Because suddenly, the previous completely inconspicuous military building on Gotland became world famous. It was a big uh, tourist success, it came a lot of people there and, and the house was not so organization, the windows was cracked and uh, there was not so good houses like that. So they said, okay, don't come here, but people come so much. And now, and now in, the, in the Swedish newspaper, they write it, don't crack the Villa Villekula. All of this was not really safe for several reasons. On the one hand, Villa Villekula was still on military territory, a place that isn't a safe playground for PP Longstocking fans. In addition, as Bobo says, the house was already in pretty bad shape. The facade slowly began to rot and it would only have been a matter of time before some beams would come down from the ceiling. So something had to happen and the military even threatened to simply demolish the famous house. Apparently they assumed that the pee, -pee hype would be over in a year or so anyway. However, there was a huge protest against those plans among the population and even major newspapers throughout Sweden reported on the plans. In the end, a compromise was found. The famous TV house was put up for auction, but under one condition. After the purchase, it had to disappear from the military site and had to be moved to another location. And well, that's exactly what happened. The new owner of Villa Villekula was a man named Einar Niedberg, and he had an interesting business idea that still exists today. He wanted to build an amusement park and Villa Villekula would be the main attraction. So what happened? The house was pushed to its new location in just one day and without dismantling it, using a special undercarriage made of iron beams. Fortunately, Kneipbühn, the new park, was only a few kilometers away from the military site. The funny thing about all this, and I'm hearing about this for the very first time today actually, the story of Villa Villekula at this point was not over yet. Swedish television come back one year later, oh, okay, we're gonna do two movies more. Yeah, but house is not on the same place as two kilometers down in a place they call Kneipen. So the, then they did the two movies on place just outside, indoors they should do this in studios, but outside it was on place there. So if you are very good looking her, you can see the last movies, you can look some water. <laughs> Exciting, right? <laughs> yeah, today the filming of Pippi Longstocking is finally over, but the cult factor surrounding this colorful house has remained. And for Bobo Werkelin, Villa Villekula is even more. I think it's the one of the famous house in the world. <laughs> you have the 10 down the street, you have the white house and you have a Villa Villekula. Well, and that is how Villa Villekula looks like today. But there's still one big question bothering me, and that is, 
how does the original place of the villa looks like today? The place it was standing before it was moved into the park. Well, and I actually didn't think that I will find out because there is not much information about the original place on the internet, but the owner of the villa and the park just told me the exact address. Well, actually he wasn't 100% sure, but I think we will go there now with the car and hopefully we will find it. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Is this the famous place where the famous Villa Villacula was standing? I have absolutely no idea because there is absolutely nothing to see here anymore. The only thing that we can see is the place I'm standing on here, this gravel road. And you can see some kind of a gravel road also in the series. Um, for example, in the scene where the two policemen try to drive away with their car and then Pippi lifts up the car and they can't drive away. All of that happened on such a gravel road. But is it this one or is it that one over there? I don't know. And there's also another house uh, right beside the Villa Villacula that you can see in the show several times. Uh, but there is absolutely no other house here, uh, only that one over there, the Red House. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Am I standing on famous ground right here or not? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> so let me share some theories with you. This is the scene I'm talking about. Here we can see Kling and Klang and their police car driving on a gravel road. And maybe, maybe it was this gravel road right here, which means that Villa Villacula maybe was standing on the left side of the road or the right side of the road. Maybe not. Maybe we just have to walk a few meters up this gravel road. There is also a huge meadow and the perfect place <laughs> to build a beautiful, colorful house. Maybe those road scenes were also filmed from over here. There is also this little forest on the left side and on the right side of the road. And also in this scene where we can see Tommy and Annika, this place fits quite well because also here we can see this forest in the background, which looks quite similar to the forest we can see here in reality. But there is also another theory, which I actually didn't know about while I was visiting this place. Somebody created a spot on Google Maps, which says Villa Villicula original place. <laughs> and that place is on the other side of the meadow and actually also on the other side of the road. The problem is, I'm not really sure if this information really is valid. Everybody can create places on Google Maps and I'm not really sure if people really remember the exact place 54 years later. But if we take a look at the satellite picture from Google, we can actually see obviously this really was a place where a house was standing in the past. It looks like it. If it really was Villa Villacula, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure somewhere here in this area the house was standing. Somewhere here around this meadow is the place I've seen so many times on television as a kid. And actually, that's all that matters, right? Well, 
And that was my shooting location tour of Villa Villicula. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. And if you'd like to support me and my work, you can also do that, for example, on Patreon. The link is in the description. Or you can become a channel member on my YouTube channel. Then you will also get exclusive stuff. For example, the addresses of the places I showed you today and in my latest shooting location tour videos. And yes, also this place right here in the middle of nowhere if you want to search for Villa Villicula yourself. Yeah, that was my shooting location tour of Villa Villicula, but that was not my last video about PP Longstocking yet. In the next video, we're going to visit the famous house of Tommy and Annika, and that's not on the island of Gotland anymore. That's at a totally different place. And also, we are going to visit the place they shot the winter scenes of the series, and that place is also very far away. It's not even in Sweden anymore. Yeah, but more about that in the next video. That's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time.